How you guys doing? This is Rich from Rich TV Live, and uh, man, oh man. Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, it gets worse. The entire cannabis sector is definitely, <laughs> definitely getting beat up. It's definitely getting beat up. Yo, what's up, Dan? How you doing, brother? Yeah, the entire cannabis sector is definitely getting beat up. That is for sure. That is for sure. Yeah, it's craziness, man. Very crazy. I don't know if you guys can read my shirt. Can it get any worse? Yeah, I probably can. David Sharp says, I've run out of money to buy more MJ stocks. Yeah, man, the shorts keep shorting and the short positions are growing. So it's, uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. They're trying to bleed us dry. You guys can buy the HMJI, man. Two stocks that you could be buying right now. HMJI and Apple. Those are slump busters right there. If you want to make money betting that the cannabis stocks are going to go down further, you can buy the HMJI ETF. Another stock you can buy that's been going up all year is Apple. I was talking about Apple when it was at 240. Now it's at 264. It just keeps going higher. If you want to get out of cannabis stocks and you want to invest in something that's going up every day, Apple. If you think that cannabis stocks are going to go down and you're tired of watching them go down, HMJI. HMJI is a great way to make money on the cannabis stocks while they go down. Do I think ACB will have good finances? I hope they have good finances, but... I think what we've seen is we're in an environment right now where even if companies report good results, they're still not going to go up. Yeah, I think that everybody's waiting for the sector to turn around. And like I said, if you believe that the sector will keep going down, you can make money on the way down. Yeah, you know what? I can't control the market, man. I wish I could control the market. What I've done is I've identified that there's other ways to make money and you can make money on the way down. You, you can make money on the way down. You can make money on the way down. You can make money betting that the cannabis stocks are going to go down buying the HMJI ETF. You could be buying Apple right now, making money on big board stocks. There's lots of ways to make money. Reefer Al Joint says this cannabis Stockholm syndrome is losing its luster. Yeah, I think that uh, when everybody feels like there's no way it can go any lower is when we'll probably find the bottom and we'll see it go higher. Um, HMJI is not at its 50, uh, sorry, HMMJ is not at its 52 week low. So the reality is the HMMJ could go lower. Or sorry, it's it's at its 52-week low. It's not at its all-time low. So the HMMJ could go lower. Could. Halo stock has been going up. Yes, it's true. One of the few. CGC to 100 tomorrow. I cash out and fly to Vegas. Hey, man, if you guys see profits in the cannabis sector, take the money and run. Because we're in a sector that is very volatile, has very big highs, has very big lows. And right now, things are going down. So as an investor that's a value investor, someone like myself, I'm just looking for opportunities to get in. And I see it going lower 
So I don't see any reason to rush to buy more. I'm just waiting on the sidelines, just waiting, thinking, okay, how low can it go? Sure. You want to take them lower? Take them lower. Your favorite stocks that you wanted to buy earlier in the year are 50 to 60% lower than they were earlier in the year. Some of them are 95% lower. So whatever stock you wanted to buy is lower now than it was seven, eight months ago. So that's a fact. Lorenzo says, how is Sundial up with up on earnings? Didn't they give everyone shit weed? What a sector at the point we're just getting our emotions played with. Hold tight. Yeah, I think that uh, we're getting our emotions played with. We are also in a sector that was highly overpriced, highly overvalued, a sector that is filled with cannabis enthusiasts, a lot of first-time investors, a lot of young investors, a lot of enthusiasts, a lot of uh, retail investors, and shorters know it, institutions know it. So what's happening is they want to see the prices get closer to real fundamentals. What does the street want? The street wants if a company is making a billion dollars in revenue, typically the stock will be priced around 10 bucks. There's nobody in the cannabis sector making a billion dollars in revenue. So everybody's overpriced. If you're doing a hundred million in revenue, you should be priced around a dollar. So everybody's overpriced in the cannabis sector. So it's very easy for the shorters to take it all down right now until eventually the revenues start catching up and start getting into the billions. Once we start seeing the revenues get into the billions, then we can see companies justifying a $10 share price. Let's give you an example. Scott's Miracle Grow, $3 billion a year in annual sales, $372 million in net income, $50, 50 million shares issued in outstanding, $100 share price. That's an example of what the street wants to see. Tight share structure, lots of sales, net income then you can justify a nice share price. Right now, this entire sector is like playing a lottery. It's just a lottery. Everything is a lottery ticket, everything. I think a lot of the prices are actually, at this point for some companies undervalued. Still, some companies are very overvalued. And then you see companies that probably are priced where they should be priced. No, cannabis is not dead. <laughs> it, it makes me laugh when people say cannabis is dead. No, cannabis is not dead. Cannabis is just getting started. Cannabis is just getting legalized on a global scale. It's funny. It makes me laugh when people say cannabis is dead. No, cannabis stocks right now are going down, but cannabis is definitely not dead. Prohibition, prohibition, legalization, an illegal industry becoming legal, definitely not dead in the infancy stages, very volatile, yes. Very high highs, yes. Very low lows, yes. Tons of volatility, yes. A company and an industry and a business and a sector that's just getting started, yes. Legalization of edibles coming around the corner. Cannabis-infused beverages haven't even been sold yet. They're still just trying to figure out how to grow flour. CBDs, just getting started. Hemp, in its infancy. Extraction. Just getting started. This sector will only get bigger and will only get better. But the best will be blessed. True Leaf. 
Labs, Valens Grow Works. Those three right now are the big three that I really want to own. And are you noticing that while everybody else is bleeding, those three might come down a little bit, but overall, they're still up. Why? Because they're generating profit. They're generating revenue. They're generating profit. They're building their balance sheet. They're not running out of money. So while all of their competitors, all of their peers are running out of money, diluting their share price to raise capital to stay alive, the companies that are profitable are making money. So their balance sheet is growing. And their balance sheet will continue to grow as long as they're profitable. Okay, now we're live. We got 80 people here and we got seven likes. We got to up our like game, guys. We got to up our like game, guys. I appreciate you guys being here. I appreciate you guys being live with me. Um, thank you guys for the nine likes. But that like to membership ratio, we got to work on that. Uh, 16 likes. That's better. S still not, you know, where I want it to be, but it's better. 18 likes. Thank you. 20 likes. See, now we're getting respectable. 20 likes out of 80 people here. 25 likes. Just like that. See, if you don't ask, you don't get. Right there. 26 likes. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. So, yeah, you know, I'm going to be here. I'm going to be here. 30 likes. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you guys. I'm going to be here every step of the way, man. Um, you know, there's no need to repeat yourself. You know, I ignore you the first time. So, you know, I've been here. Uh, I've been dealing with a lot of hate for the last seven, eight months. People trying to specifically blame me. It's all your fault, Rich. It's your fault that all the cannabis stocks are falling, Rich. Um, so what I suggest is if you want to turn things around for yourself, invest in Apple. It's going up every day. It's 100% buy and bar chart. Invest in the HMJI ETF if you want to bet against the cannabis sector. That is the short ETF. So you can literally make money betting that the cannabis stocks are going to go down. I've been talking to you guys about HMJI for about a month now. And in the last month, they've gone from $30 to now they're at $36. So they're actually up 20% since I brought that pick to you guys first. And... Apple, since I've been talking to my members about it, well, for years, but over the last couple months, or really the last month, Apple was at 240 It's now up to $264. And that's another stock that's a big board stock, blue chip stock, that could be making you money if you want to diversify your portfolio and get out of cannabis completely. Because cannabis right now is very, very volatile. And right now, everything's coming back down until the market makers feel like these companies can justify their market caps. Because the reality is a lot of these companies can't justify their market caps because they don't have any equity on their balance sheets to justify their market caps. They all have a lot of debt. They got credit lines. And they don't have revenue. And some of them have revenue, but they don't have profits. So there's only a few companies that are actually profitable. Those are the ones that we really need to focus on. And those are the ones we need to accumulate. Wheat stocks are still overvalued. I think a lot of them are. Absolutely. Look at Kronos Group. Kronos Group has $1.5 billion of cash, but their sales don't justify their share price. It's a fact. So there are companies out there, in my opinion, that are still overvalued. And Tilray going to $300 when they just are not at that level should never have been at $300. So that's why Tilray had to come back down. And Tilray is probably still overvalued at these prices because, like I said, if you have a billion dollars in sales, you should be priced around 10 bucks. So to have Tilray priced at over 20 in Canada or sort of over 20 and on the NASDAQ and 
they don't even have close to a billion dollars in sales doesn't really justify their market cap. It's just the way it goes. Tilray and Kronos Group, in my opinion, are overvalued. So Grow Generation Corp is actually one of the good ones. And Grow Generation Corp has been successful this year. Grow Generation Corp, IIPR, Balance Grow Works, Labs are profitable. True Leaf is profitable. Those are five of the most profitable companies in the entire sector. Those are five of the companies that we could win with in 2019. All five have gone up in 2019. True Leaf might be down a little bit, um, but I'm not sure if they're down or up this year overall, but I know that they were at $10 at one point and now they've climbed up. So they were probably higher at one point, come down, and now they're starting to come up. But the reality is they're profitable. Grow Generation Corp is profitable. Valens Grow Works is profitable. Labs is profitable. Those are the companies that we really need to be focused on. Anybody that's not profitable is a risk. And if you're trying to invest in the best, you need to invest in companies that are making money. So when you see Metafarm Labs goes down, after I live stream their earnings, and their earnings are record earnings, profitable, everything, every box is being checked. Everything's going in the right direction for Metafarm Labs, and the stock tanks. Why did Metafarm Labs tank? Metafarm Labs tanked because they're ready up 400% this year. And the market is all knowing. The market knows that everything is either up or down or overvalued. And Metafarm Labs is already up 400%. So you think the market doesn't know that Metafarm Labs is already up 400%? So at any point in time, Metafarm Labs could get could go down because they're already up 400%. Canopy growth went up from, in 2017, from 7 bucks to $70 at the high of this year, and now they're down to 24 They didn't deserve to be at 70 bucks. They probably don't deserve to be a 24. They don't got a billion in sales. Remember what I told you, a billion in sales should be around 10 bucks. So Canopy Growth doesn't have a billion in sales. So should they even be at 24 bucks? It's a lot of hype. There is a lot of hype. So as an investor, we need to be very smart and we need to hunt the bottoms if we want to buy cannabis stocks and buy the best companies with profits, strong balance sheets at the lowest prices. Yes, Village Farms is profitable. I like Village Farms. But Village Farms also is not close to doing a billion in revenue. So how do you justify them being over $10? I like Kronos Group. They got a billion, 1.5 billion in cash, but their sales don't justify a $10 share price. Yes, VFF grows tomatoes. <laughs> Everyone that is holding cannabis stocks over the last seven to eight months could potentially put themselves in a position to be bag holding. So my opinion about that is if you don't want to bag hold cannabis stocks, don't buy cannabis stocks. Buy Amazon, buy Facebook, buy Tesla, buy Shop, buy Apple, buy Netflix. These are all stocks I've been talking about for years that have all gone up. You can buy those stocks too. Nobody's forcing anyone to put all their money into cannabis stocks. I want to make sure that that's very clear. 
Nobody's forcing anybody to put all their money into cannabis stocks. So diversify your portfolio. And if you want to make money on the way down, you can buy HMJI. So if the cannabis stocks keep going lower, you're making money. Since I've been talking about HMJI, since I've been talking about HMJI, they're up 20%. Since I've been talking about HMJI, they're up 20%. So cannabis stocks have been going down and HMJI goes up. So it's not like there aren't options. There's many options. You don't have to buy cannabis stocks. You can sit on the sideline and just wait. You can sit on the sideline and wait. You could buy options. If you think that Hexo is going to go down, you can buy puts. If you think Aurora is going to go down, you can buy puts. If you think Canopy is going to go down, you can buy puts. If you think Kronos Group is going to go down, you can buy puts. You can make a ton of money betting these stocks are going to go down. FCEL is up 200% this week. Congratulations to everyone who took advantage of FCEL up 200% this week. That's huge. My thoughts on Body and Mind Inc., another company that needs to really focus on becoming profitable. Their balance sheet isn't very strong. And their revenue doesn't justify a $1 share price. Because unless I see at least $100 million in revenue, I can't see how any of these companies can justify a $1 share price. I think TrueLeave is one of the best. Their profitability, their net income... It's higher than anyone. So in my opinion, I think truly has the potential to be the best. They've been my number one pick uh, in August, September, and October. They were my number one, number six pick in November. They've been a beast. They've been an absolute beast. So yeah, true leave. I've been talking about true leave for a long time. I'm a big fan of true leave. Yeah. I think that, uh, you know, if you're a cannabis investor, you need to look at diversify. You need to diversify your portfolio. On times when the market is down, if you don't want to be buying those bottoms, you could be buying the HMJI ETF. The way that the company's market share is determined is the stock price. Um, and they multiply the stock price by the share count. I've been trading for years. I think a lot of people forget, you know, this cannabis sector is really new. So everyone that's investing in cannabis is new. Uh, the entire sector is new. The investors that are involved in the sector are new. The amount of historical data on the sector is new. So everything that's happening is new. And things are changing and moving fast in real time. So what was happening last year with companies, it's a totally different year this year. So last year, companies were going up based on no profit. Now, a year later, companies are going up based on profit. And companies are going down based on profit and revenue and share structure. So there's a lot of different things and metrics that are being looked at right now. Companies are also going down based on lack of money in their bank account. So if companies are struggling with finances and they're struggling with money, they're also going down because market makers are shorting down stocks of companies that are struggling with money. Companies like Canopy Growth and companies like Kronos Group, who have tons of money behind them, are still priced higher because they have tons of money behind them. Companies that are struggling with money financially are getting shorted down because they don't got any money in the bank and everyone's saying that they could go bankrupt. So this is where the stock market is in the cannabis sector. I think Agroflora is a good business, but the share price and the stock itself has been a nightmare. Now is a good time to be looking into silver plus gold stocks. I think it's always a good time to be looking into precious metals. 
Reefer Aljoin says, Florida has doubled its sales and True Leave has lines out the door with at least an hour waiting period every morning. Wow. That's huge. True Leave, man. Gotta love True Leave. Andy says, wait till the Safe Banking Act is passed first part of 2020. There's a lot of catalysts coming. Safe Banking Act, edibles, cannabis-infused beverages, all of it's coming. So potentially cannabis legalization in America. There's so many catalysts coming that could be huge catalysts for the sector. And that's why we need to just stay tuned. I, I think green thumb earnings are going to be strong. Predictions Q1 2020. I just think that the sector just continues to grow. Uh, the market is going to go up and down, but I think the sector will continue to grow. Companies will continue to grow their revenues. Companies will become more and more profitable. Now that everybody knows that you have to become profitable, people are going to start to really focus on becoming profitable trimming down their fat, reducing their overhead, reducing their burn rate, getting to a path to profitability. This needs to be the focus. And I feel like this is the focus that everybody is moving towards because now they know that unless they're profitable, their stock will be decimated. And unless you want your stock to be decimated, you need to be profitable. And we've seen this with everyone. And a great example of a company that does well that hasn't been decimated is Scott's Miracle Grow. Scott's Miracle Grow SMG has had a phenomenal year, has gone from sixty dollars to over a hundred this year. Three billion in 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 annual revenue. Three hundred and seventy million in net income. Fifty million. Shares issued outstanding. Their stock's going up. Metafarm Labs up 400% this year. Their stock's going up. Profitable company, growing revenue, amazing extraction company. Stock's going up. Valens Grow Works, VGW, up 200% this year. Their stock's going up. Why? Profitable company. Growing revenue, reasonable share structure. They've got every single box checked. If a company, if you've got your hard-earned money and you're wanting to invest in a company and every single box is not checked, there's a chance that you're going to lose. That's the way it goes. In the cannabis sector right now, it is so volatile that if every single box is not checked, there's a chance you could lose. That's the volatility in the sector. I, th I think there's a very good chance that the Banking Act is going to get passed. Anthony Rice asks, do you think Halo Labs will have good earnings tomorrow after the bell? I think Halo's earnings are going to be strong. I don't know if they're going to be profitable. But I think that they will, they will be strong. And I think Halo has a future, especially considering they're an extraction company. And extraction has so much upside. Yeah, I don't know what to expect from any of these companies anymore. I don't want to guess anything. Kayo Cushion Trader says, hey, Rich, we are in the twilight zone. What the F is going on? Well, to break it down, a lot of these companies' financials are terrible. A lot of these companies have tons of debt. These companies are not making money. They're not profitable. They're just burning money, losing money left, right, and center. The cost per gram is going down because there's tons of competition. There's so many reasons why these stocks are struggling. Then on top of that, Ontario was supposed to open up a thousand stores. They opened up 25 stores that killed a lot of business in Ontario. So there's a lot of reasons why these companies are not doing as well as they should. Does 2020 look better than 2019? Of course. 
Will we see growth in the sector? Absolutely. Will some of these companies fail? Absolutely. Will the companies that are the best be blessed? Absolutely. The goal right now is for us to identify the best companies at the lowest prices and really identify the financials. There's a reason why I've been live streaming and I've been doing these conference calls. I want you guys to listen to these conference calls, listen to these CEOs, listen to some of the dis disruptions. There's a lot of issues that are happening with government bodies that these companies can't control. These companies can't control Health Canada. They can't. They cannot control Health Canada. They cannot control the Safe Banking Act in America. They cannot control legalization of cannabis in America. They just can't. So they're stuck waiting for regulations. And while they're stuck waiting for regulations, there's going to be ups and downs. And that's just where we're at in the cannabis sector. It's nothing you can do. You know what? I'm a holder of Xenobis. I hold I, and I and I sold my rights and I bought more because I believe in the company. I believe in the business. At the end of the day, I do not control Xenobis. If Xenobis goes bankrupt and spends all of their money, there's nothing I can do. So as a shareholder, I really hope that that's not the case. The only way Xenobis is going to succeed is if they make money. So these companies need to understand that if they're going to succeed, they need to either make money or they need to have a funder or an equity partner that's going to come in and give them a bunch of money. Unless you're making money, how are you going to succeed? So these companies need to start making money. And I hope Xenobis is on the path to profitability from what I've heard from some of the investors locally that are invested heavily in the company, this month could be their first month of profitability ever as a business. And remember, this is a new business that is a startup that started in January. So if by November, their 11th month in business, they can be profitable, I think that's a huge success. Stock market is very, very risky, man. Joe Namaste says, Xenobis won't go bankrupt. They just made their financials stronger with $30 million. They're selling to shoppers, New Brunswick, also lowest cost per gram to cultivate. Yeah, and I know all of those things. You know, and I'm a big fan of Xenobis, but I'm not a fan of what has happened to their stock. So as a shareholder, I'm not oblivious to the fact that they're down like 90 something percent this year. So at the end of the day, they've been a nightmare and the entire cannabis sector has been a nightmare for the last eight months. Now we're going into ta we're going into tax loss selling season. I anticipate that this will continue in my opinion, for the next six weeks. I think January, we could see this turn. There's a lot of catalysts to believe, to make me believe that, that in January, this is going to turn. So hopefully, that's what we're going to see as a turn. I would not be surprised to see the stocks go down for the next six weeks because of tax locks selling season. And all the high net worth rich people that are holding a lot of cannabis stocks are going to take this as an opportunity to take some losses and, um, you know, to go against some of their other gains. And a lot of people are going to take that as an opportunity to sell. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stock down, so there's going to be moves up. Um, but for the most part, the sector is going down. That's why you're seeing the HMJI ETF up.
Yeah, you know, like Aurora Cannabis is a good company, but Aurora Cannabis needs to become profitable. And until Aurora Cannabis is profitable, they're always going to be under a lot of pressure. And same thing with Canopy Growth, same thing with all these companies. It's going to become very difficult for companies to grow when they're not profitable. Hey, man, I like crypto. There's a lot of ways to make money. You know, you can make money. Betting stocks are going to go down. You can buy tech stocks. You know, the the broader markets are at all-time highs. I'm getting into Forex trading. I'm getting into options trading. So there's a lot of different ways to make money. We can make money up. We can make money down. You can make money on the HMJI ETF. If you think the cannabis stocks are going to keep going down, you can make money betting on the HMJI ETF. Uh, you can buy gold. You can buy gold stocks. You could buy silver. There's so many different ways to invest. You can buy oil and gas. You can buy real estate. You can buy Bitcoin. There's many different ways to invest. There's no shortage of, shortage of ways to invest and shortage of ways to make money. Yeah, I, I truly believe that uh, there's going to be six weeks of blood. And I really believe that the uh, resurrection will most likely happen in January. And I'm not the only one saying that. Bruce Linton said the same thing. Bruce Linton said that he thinks that the big money will come back in January. So we'll see. Joe Namaste says, Rich, you heard it here first. Zena, November 27th, 40 cents a share. Don't buy ACB shares. Too risky. Mm -hmm. By January 2021, $6 calls at $0.80. Uh, TGIS is how I made four hundred k last run on $65,000 investment. Mm -hmm. That's uh, good advice, Joe. Fernando says, hey, Rich, OTCs or IPOs, pot stocks? I would say neither, man. I say if you want to invest, invest in the best blue chip companies in the world. And if you want to invest in cannabis stocks, invest mm -hmm. in the best revenue generating cannabis stocks. I think IPOs are very risky and I think OTCs are very risky. So I wouldn't be putting my money in there. Hey, man, I got lots of different ways to help you guys get rich. I just think that when the markets are down like this, there's only one way to make money, and that's on the way down. That's a fact. So if you think you're going to make money on the way up when everything is down, <laughs> it's going to be difficult. The only way you can make money on the way down is betting that things are going to go down. So I'm trying to give you guys more tools to make money on the way down or give you guys alternatives. So HMJI is a way to make money on the way down. You can buy puts. We're going to be uh, uh, launching our Options Trading Academy very shortly. So you're going to be able to buy puts on Canopy, Aurora, Tilray, Hexo, Kronos Group. So you could be making money on the way down. You could be buying these stocks now, waiting for them to go up in the future. That's a way to look at it too. There's a lot of ways to make money in the stock market but when you have an entire sector that's down for eight months in a row, despite the fact that the broader markets are at all-time highs, we'd be stupid not to be looking at the broader markets when they're at all-time highs. We have to look at the broader markets as well. We have to diversify our perspective as investors. Morahav Johnson says, or work mad overtime at your nine to five. Yeah, work mad overtime at your nine to five. Put your head down and just keep accumulating the best companies at the lowest prices and wait for them to resurrect because at some point they will, especially if you're investing in the best. Hey, man, I'm holding my Xena. I'm, I'm, I don't call out anybody else. I'm not here to call out anybody else. Um, 
I'm not here to do that. You know, I'm here to help the community. I want the community to look at this as a place for us to win, find ways to win, make money in lots of different ways as entrepreneurs. Um, I'm not here to call anybody else out. Um, I will collaborate with other YouTubers. Um, but you know, I'm not here to call anybody else out. And if people want to call me out, they're welcome to call me out. I've been doing this for two and a half years, almost three years. Um, I have my opinion. A lot of stocks have done really well that I've talked about. Some have it, especially in the last eight months when the entire sector is down, everything is down. So for the most part, you're going to see stocks go down when the whole sector is down. There's really nothing I can do about it. But what I can do is I can be here. I can continue to give you my perspective, continue to educate the public, continue to entertain. I can continue to create an environment where we can talk about different stocks. We can share ideas, share opinions. We can support each other when things are down. And we can do due diligence as a community to identify the best companies at the lowest prices. I have ACB. I don't have Canopy. Yeah, I mean, I have many revenue streams. The stock market is just one of them. And right now... Um, you know, like as far as the cannabis stocks, that is not the best place where I'm getting returns. I'm doing a lot of other trading and I'm going to continue to educate myself and then educate you guys on a lot of other methods of trading, like options trading, like Forex trading. So stay tuned. And there's many ways to make money. We don't have to just sit here and focus on cannabis stocks while they're going down. Like that's... The definition of insanity. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. I'm not going to do the same thing over and over and expect a different result. You know, you have to change things. You got to change. You got to adapt. You got to assimilate. The cannabis sector this year is not the same as what it was last year. And I'm sure next year it will not be the same as what, what it is this year. Sonny Robinson says the broader market is going to fall November and December. How you doing, Sonny? Thank you for the donation. I appreciate you, man. Alex says economy is slowing down here in Canada. Could be a start of a recession. So one must be prepared. Yeah, and be careful. Always consult a financial advisor and do your due diligence and do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about in Rich TV Live. Always invest in the best. The best is blessed. Invest in companies that are profitable. Invest in companies that are building and growing their EBITDA. Okay? Grow Generation Corp. Merrimed. Valens Grow Works. Metafarm Labs. True Leaves. Village Farms. CXXI. These are all companies that are AFRIA. They're either profitable or around profitable and they're close to profitable. These are companies that everyone should be looking at and trying to find the bottom. I like Organogram too, but you know, Organogram, their revenue went from 24 million to 16 million. So you can't think that you're going to go from 24 million one quarter in a growing sector, in a hyper growth sector, have your revenue go from 24 million to 16 million and think that your business is, and think that your stock is going to go up. It's just, it's not going to go up. If your revenue goes down in this sector right now, your stock's going down. It's almost guaranteed. So it's becoming more predictable and we got to learn to take advantage of that and make money on the way up and on the way down. I like Planet 13. Planet 13 is another one of those companies that's on the path, the path to profitability. I love their idea of creating a business that, um, I love the idea of creating a business that is going to be like a club environment with like a pool and like a bar filled with cannabis products, uh, edibles, CBDs, 
cannabis infused beverages and then you walk into the club with all your buddies and and your girlfriends and mm -hmm. then you're smoking weed and you're hanging out and you're hanging out with other people that are smoking weed and you're sharing joints and everybody's hanging out and having a good time and then they hop in the pool and then maybe we throw on some rich tv live yeah that's that's kind of what i dream of <laughs> that's like my dream life right so um i think there's a lot of good times coming around the corner i think these are just the growing pains of a new sector and i think there's a lot of cool things that are coming and uh planet 13 their vision of what they want to do that is so cool like i personally will go to vegas and go to planet 13 and live stream from there once they get that club environment rolling i'm going to planet 13 and i'm going to live stream from there because that's what i envision is coming for this sector all this cool stuff that people aren't thinking about uh like mike tice is talking about creating like a cannabis amusement park um i just see a lot of that type of stuff happening i see a lot of that stuff happening plus we got to talk about medical research breakthroughs in med medicine uh technology breakthroughs in technology and medicine and research and illness and disease and i just see so many breakthroughs coming with this plan and for us to be legally allowed to be early investors in this game it's not supposed to be that easy i've said this many times you can't just wake up roll out of bed put on rich tv live and find all the winners get rich and retire it's not supposed to be that easy so they're not making it easy for us that's for sure but i do believe that as investors we are way more sophisticated now despite what our accounts might say Okay, we are way more sophisticated as investors now than we were a year ago. And we're way more sophisticated right now than we were two years ago. And I'm definitely as an investor way more sophisticated than I was three years ago. And I believe that with time and with more knowledge and with more experience and with more training will come better results. I truly believe will come better results. And over time, we're going to have days where we're going to be sitting back, we're going to be laughing, we're going to be making so much money. And then we're going to have days like now where it's going to be tough times. And I've got some advice for you guys. Tough times don't last, tough people do. And every industry I've seen that has gone through tough times, the people that have stuck it out have been the ones that have come through the other side and become very wealthy. And everybody else that falls off when times are tough, they miss the boat. I've seen it over and over and over again in my life. I've seen this cycle. Just seeing this cycle over and over and over again. It just keeps repeating itself. And I think this is just another one of those cycles. Tough times don't last, tough people do. And in the cannabis sector, we all know that we're all going to be here. We're all going to be in, as a cannabis enthusiast, we're all going to be around cannabis. We may or may not be in the stock market, but we're all going to be around cannabis all the time. So chances are five, 10 years from now, these stocks are still going to exist. A lot of them will probably be five, 10 times, some of them a hundred times higher. That's a fact. What we're trying to do now is we're trying to predict the future. We're trying to predict the future. We're trying to predict today what the market's going to look like tomorrow what the market's going to look like next month what the market's going to look like next year that's what we're trying to do right now we're trying to predict the future today we're trying to predict what the future is going to look like tomorrow today and that's not easy how old am i how old do i look how old do i look Five Finger Limited says, if CGC goes to 14, it would be a gift. I agree. 33, 37. Those are some good guesses. 32. Look, I still have all my hair. Thirty-four. 
41? Holy smokes. High times rich, 45? <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, you guys are killing me, man. You guys make me laugh, man. I'm 41. I'm turning 42 in January. So I've been trading stocks every day since 2007. So I'm going on to 13 years. Yeah, Halo is up again. And I'm going to have Halo on my show, live streaming, market open Monday morning. So stay tuned to that. Boom, I knew it. What do I win? <laughs> we could work something out. Go to richtvshop.com, guys, and shop. We got all kinds of gear there. Joe Namaste says, Rich, here's my portfolio. 100,000 shares ACB at 279 Canadian. ACB option calls, 11,000 contracts, $6 strike, Manulife, 100,000 shares, $10.87 Canadian, 100,000 shares, Organogram, 335, mm -hmm. Zenibus, 400,000 shares at 18 and a half. Holy smokes, Joe. You are loaded, bro. I love your portfolio. You got some big winners there, man. You're loaded. You're fully loaded, my friend. You are fully loaded. Uh, you know what? I've contacted High Times and they said that uh, they're just waiting to go public. But I don't think that they're going to go public in this market. I think that they're going to wait till the market gets better, which I think would be smart. I, I don't want them to go public in this market either because that $11 share price will go to five bucks really quick. And then it'll go to a dollar really quick because they have no revenue. So I'm a little scared for them to go public at these prices. Joe Namaste says been day trading 23 years. Wow, Joe, it's big, man. Robert Howell says, 210,000 shares of Namaste. Let's go, Rich. I hope you win big, man. I like Namaste. I've liked Namaste since day one. I've seen a lot of ridicule because of it. I think these prices for Namaste are really good, especially if they can grow their revenue. Their revenue hasn't grown. That's why the price hasn't grown. But I like the company. I think there's tons of potential there. I love Don Cherry. Mm -hmm. I'm not for what he said, um, but I don't think that, uh, you know, they should have got rid of him the way they did. He's a Canadian icon. He's one of the most recognized faces in the sport of hockey in Canada and all over the world. So for them to get rid of him makes me believe that they wanted to get rid of him and they were just looking for a reason because mm -hmm. they didn't have to get rid of him. He made a mistake. He knows it. He's a grown adult. Everybody makes mistakes. They didn't have to get rid of him. I think High Times will come through for us. I mean, High Times hasn't gone anywhere. So what are they going to do? Just destroy their brand by screwing over thousands of investors? I don't think so. I don't see that happening. Lampaco says 30K EMH, 10K Canopy, 25K OGI, and 40K PAT. Wow, you guys are loaded. James says, wondering if Halo is running up into earnings like labs. Sure hope it doesn't sell off. Anything is possible. These markets are very volatile. Juan asks, are you invested in BAM? I'm not. I did invest in them last year. Or sorry, last year. This year. Um, multiple times and I won every time. But once I looked at their revenues and their balance sheet, I saw a lot of skeletons and I got out and I've been out ever since. Dylan Fraser says, just said what needed to be said, but maybe you people was taken out of context. I think that uh, they were too hard on Don Cherry.
Ryan says, wonder if tomorrow is going to be another crippling day. It could be. I mean, we're in talk, tax loss selling season between now and the rest of the year. So I wouldn't be surprised to see it go down further. Wendy says, love you, Rich. Can I adopt you? <laughs> I appreciate Wendy. Thank you. Hey, man, I might be available to be adopted for the right price. <laughs> And I am single and ready to mingle for the right lady. <laughs> she has to be into cannabis. <laughs> that is a prerequisite for me, for my heart. Um, what happened to my Namaste interview? I did my Namaste interview. It's being approved by uh, legal. Once it gets approved, it'll be posted. So stay tuned. Elad, how are you doing, Elad? Elad is the creator of Rich TV Shop. He's a, uh, a member of the community. Uh, Elad is here. He's uh, giving you guys a link to richtvshop.com, which is the website for you guys to shop everything, cannabis, cannabis and celery products, pet CBDs. We got CBDs. We got Rich TV Live mugs. We got shirts like this. We got all kinds of gear at richtvshop.com. It's not built by me. It was built by one of our members, Elad, which is why you guys are the best community in the world right here, right now. Our members created music. Uh, Ilk Kid is a community member that created all kinds of songs for Rich TV Live. Elad created richtvshop.com. <laughs> Dan, the IT guy, created our app. We have a win when he had our app out. I mean, our community has done so much to create value for Rich TV Live members. And this is why we have such a powerful community. It's because of you guys. Thank you guys for everything you do. It really means a lot. I really wish for all of us that the cannabis sector could turn around, man. Trust me, nobody wants this cannabis sector to turn around more than me, man. Believe me, nobody. <laughs> Believe me. Joe Namaste says, I've seen this before 2017, 2018, 2019 markets repeat. That's how I became successful. Everyone sells, we buy, everyone buys, we sell. Rich, you're the icon of the plan. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much, man. I hope you keep winning, man. Element74 says, congrats on 22,500 subs, man. Thank you very much, Element74. Yeah, and we're growing despite the fact the cannabis sector is getting beat up. So imagine how fast we could grow if things were doing well, right? Uh, Juan says, could you elaborate on the skeletons in BAM, please? It's just their financials. Their financials were really messy. I didn't like them. And uh, they're not profitable. So until you become profitable, I'm not going to be putting any more money in companies that are not profitable. I learned that mistake the hard way in 2019. I'm not going to be doing that moving forward. I'm only going to be investing in companies that are profitable now. That's it. I'm done investing in companies that are not profitable. Quentin Simmons says, I'm only buying Planet 13 and THCX. Alex Castillo says, ah, yep, namaste. Thanks, Rich. Hey, my pleasure, man. Anhex Huck says, anybody think of Ianthus? Yeah, I like Ianthus. I think they have a lot of potential. Um... Santana420 says, NBEV, the consensus earning per share estimate is 0.04, 50% year over year, and the consensus revenue estimate is 69.95 million, a 357.2% year over year increase. That's a good increase. That's what I mean. The, the sector overall has great revenue growth. All right, guys, I got to run. I hope you guys have a great day. If you guys are not winning, you're not watching. Thank you guys for joining. Another nightmare, night, can't even talk. Another nightmare day in the cannabis sector, but we've seen so many of them that it's just become kind of like commonplace now. So I think as investors in the cannabis sector, we need to become better investors right now. We need to become smarter investors right now. We have to know what our options are. We need to try to stay in cash. 
We need to look for the best companies at the lowest prices, and we need to diversify. Maybe now is the time to put some money into gold. Maybe now is the time to get into forex trading. Maybe now is the time to get into futures trading. Maybe now is the time to get into options trading. Maybe now is the time to buy Apple stock. Maybe now is the time to buy Facebook. Maybe now is the time to buy some Tesla. There's a lot of options out there. You don't have to buy cannabis stocks, especially when they're going down, because I don't want you guys losing money. Before you invest in anything we talk about, consult a financial advisor. I am not a financial advisor. I am an investor just like you guys, okay? Invest in the best because the best is blessed. This is your boy, Rich, from Rich to be Live. Been doing it for almost three years. It's true. We've seen the highs. We've seen the lows. We've seen the highs. We've seen the lows. And we've seen the highs. And now we're seeing lows again. Usually after these big lows comes the highs. So hopefully the highs are coming soon. Stay tuned. We'll be here when they do come. I promise you that. And even if they don't, we'll be here too. So at least you have a place you could come and you can share your ideas, share your opinions, share your frustration. I know I'm frustrated too, but like I said, as investors, we have to learn how to eliminate emotion and we have to learn how to almost trade like robots. And if we have to stay on the sidelines right now and watch it unfold and allow these bottoms to present themselves as gifts disguised in blood, then this could be a blessing in disguise because we may now be able to get into our favorite companies at the lowest prices. And right now, what's happening is because they're going down, they're actually becoming more affordable for institutional investors, retail investors, speculators, hedge funds, and more and more new investors are going to come in with the opportunity looking at all the stocks and looking at their charts and them looking at those opportunities saying, you know what, this could be undervalued. These stocks could be underappreciated. They could be underexposed. This could be the time for us to get in. And I believe there's a whole new wave of investors that start to come in now and they're going to probably pour in in January. That's what Bruce Linton's saying. I'm going to follow Bruce. He's on the in. He's a billionaire, a uh, very successful multimillionaire, if not a billionaire worth hundreds of millions. And I think he knows best. He's predicting January. I'm thinking now it's probably going to be moved to January. So the next six weeks could be a great time just to position yourself in some of your best companies. I'll keep you guys updated on any news as it happens. And we'll do more videos like this just to talk and create an environment where we can communicate. Okay. Thank you guys for joining. Have yourselves a great day. This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live. You guys, please go to richtvlive.com to learn everything about cannabis stocks, gain insight on cryptocurrencies, see the top cannabis stocks in Canada, top cannabis stocks in the US, top to cryptocurrencies as well. And like I said, we are launching a Forex Academy, Options Trading Academy, and we just launched a store, Rich TV Shop. Thank you guys for buying and supporting us and buying products. We've already sold pet CBD, we've sold mugs, we sold shirts. We got shirts like this. No need to repeat. No need to repeat yourself. I ignored you the first time. You too could get a shirt like this. All right, guys. Thank you guys for joining. I appreciate you. Yes, the Safe Banking Act is coming. That will be a huge catalyst. This is your boy Rich from Rich to be live. If you're not winning, you're not watching. We bring in the winners and we bring them to you first. It's true. Your boy Rich and I'm out. Peace. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for the likes. Thank you guys for all the subscribers, for everything you guys do. None of this would even be possible without you guys. And I promise you guys, I'm going to be here, man. I'm going to be here, good, bad, or ugly. I will be here. And just like you guys, if the stocks go down, I bleed too. But you know what? I'm getting smarter, and I'm learning how to make money on the way down. And uh, you know what? We can make money on the way down. So don't uh, forget about HMJI. HMJI is how you can make money shorting cannabis stocks. So if you think the cannabis stocks will keep going down for the next six weeks, you could buy the HMJI ETF, which I told you guys about at 30 bucks. It's now at 36 today. It's up 20% since I brought it to you guys first. I wouldn't be surprised to see it go up to $40, maybe even higher because we're in a bear market for cannabis stocks. It's true. I wish it wasn't true, but it is true. Okay, guys, the nightmare continues for cannabis stocks. When will, it, when will it end? I don't know, but hopefully soon 
Bruce Linton is predicting January. I'm probably going to have to predict January as well. I wish it was right now, but clearly it's not. Another tough day. Keep your head up. It will turn around. Don't panic. Accumulate the best because you deserve the best. Accumulate the best. The best is blessed. And you deserve the best, so buy the best. This is not gold. You can still invest in gold, but this is the next best thing. It is green gold. I also like digital gold. I love Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. I like that too. We're in that too. So stay tuned. You want to get into crypto. You want to get into green gold. You want to get into digital gold. You're at the right place. Rich TV Live. RichTVLive.com. Rich TV Shop. I'm out. Peace. Love you guys, man. The best. You guys are the best. You guys are all blessed. <laughs>